Hi friends, welcome to Hoffa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 30 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about dictionaries in Python. And also we are going to discuss about how to access items from dictionary, how to change items inside dictionary, how to add any new item to the dictionary and how to remove items from the dictionary. So if, please watch all my previous videos in this Python playlist before watching this video so that you will be in sync with the entire playlist and entire course. So dictionary is one of the data type which is available inside the python that will help you to save collection of data into a single variable. So when you use dictionaries to store the data, basically you need to store the data in key value pairs as I shown here in this example. So if you store any data by opening this flower bracket and closing this flower bracket and in middle if you use this key value pairs then this is actually type of dictionary type data in the python. So basically you see this kind of data in json right. So JSON uh, data you might have, few people might have aware, right? So this is similar to JSON type data only. So when you use JSON type data inside the Python, then we will call it like a dictionary data type. Let me practically show you this. Let me go to Visual Studio Code. And in Visual Studio Code, uh, let's, so this is my demo.python file here. Let me create a dictionary called maybe my dictionary. So this is a variable name. And inside this variable, I am storing a value which contains open flower bracket and close flower bracket and let me give one key name like id and value to for this key is one and there is another key let's assume name and in this name key i am going to supply value as mahir you can use single quotes or double quotes basically up to you so let me use double quotes for now okay so let me save these changes now below this line i am i am trying to print the my dictionary variable and instead of printing my dictionary variable as it is let me pass this variable into type function to get the type of that variable. Now let me save these changes and here let me execute my demo.python file. If you see what I, I got dictionary type that means this variable is became dictionary type. Why? Because we saved dictionary type data into that variable. Okay. So dictionary type da data will contain key value pairs as I shown and these key value pairs will be in a same order. When you say ordered that means let me remove this type function here and let me print only my dictionary variable alone and let me execute this file now see it given id name and if i rerun once again again id name so this order will not change that means dictionary items are ordered so this id item name item everything is in a order fashion and that order will not be changed uh, if you want to change value of any particular key for example if you want to change the value of this particular uh, variable uh, key called name that is possible if you want to add new item into this dictionary that is also possible okay but duplicates are not possible let me let's say here i have another key with the same like name and this time value inside is wafa let me save this and then let me try to print this dictionary variable now if you closely observe we got only id and name but name key k was there two times what happens because when you use the second time this is like a duplicate right so duplicates uh, when you have inside your dictionary then duplicate items will be ignored actually so you cannot have duplicates okay so let's go to presentation now so this is what i said here so dictionary collection is going to be ordered and uh, it is changeable you can change it how to change i am going to show in our in few minutes now uh, and it will not allow duplicates and dictionaries cannot have two items with the same key that means it will not allow duplicates so the same thing okay now how to access any item from the dictionary so let's assume i have a dictionary like this which contains key called brand model and year now if you want to access this model key value then you can use this index kind of syntax by using this uh, brackets angular brackets and pass your key name as a uh, as a value in the, uh, as a index into the index syntax so let me practically show you this so let me go here here i have id and name right so let's assume i want to access name maybe so what i can do I can use this uh, syntax of angular brackets which will be used usually for the indexes and now let me save this so using this index syntax I am trying to access value inside this key called name now I have changed I saved my changes let me run this code see I got Mahir as value okay so that means using this syntax I can access values inside the keys and there is another thing you can use this get function as well into the get function pass the key name for which you are looking for the value so let me try to do that so what i can do here on top of my dictionary there is something called get function so to the get function i can pass my key name so maybe i want to access id key value so let me save these changes and let me clear here the console and now let me execute this demo.python file 
see i got value written as 1 why because id key holds value 1 and uh, you can use this key functions to get all the keys from your dictionary as a list and you can use this values function to get all the values similarly you can use this items function to get all the items let me practically show you all these three so now here let me try to print my dictionary dot keys this is going to give all the keys okay all the keys of my dictionary variable and let me again print on the same variable called my dictionary let me try to get a values values function is going to give all the values and then let me print again on top of my dictionary variable there is a function called items so using this item we can get all the key value pairs as a list so let me save these changes and let me run this code below so that it will make sense see here when you use keys you got id key name key as a list and when you use values you got one and mahir right these are the values as a as a list and when you use items function so see from here to here is one key value pair and from here to here another key value pair so like that you you can access the items from the dictionary using all these different types of ways so let me go to the next slide so here i am going to explain about how to change items in dictionary so for example uh, here i have year and if i want to change the value of the year key then you can use this syntax and pass the new value this is going to replace the old value not only that you can use the update function as well to the update function pass the dictionary key value pair which you want to change let me practically show you this so now here i have id and name so for example i want to update this name to ofa how to do that what i can do on top of my dictionary uh, use this index syntax for the key called name pass value ofa okay now below let's try to print my dictionary let me save this see this is what i i did here as in the slide so now if i execute this code see i got name key value as wafa why because we updated the value not only this as i said i can update the dictionary using this update function to to the update function pass the dictionary of key value pair so for the key called name i want to save value called wafa then let's try to print that variable dictionary variable let me run this see again i got wafa so using these two ways i can update the items or i can change the items inside the dictionary so how to add items into a dictionary if you want to add item to any dictionary what you can do the same way for example here brand model year keys are there there is no key called color but when you try to use this index syntax and when you try to add value to this uh, color key then automatically this key value pair also will get added into your dictionary not only that you can use the same update function what we discussed in the previous slide so you can pass the a uh, key value pair as a dictionary syntax to up add those item into your existing dictionary so let me practically show you this so i have id and a name maybe i want to uh, add another key maybe called let's assume salary okay now to the salary uh, let's try to supply value maybe 1000 okay let me save these changes and then let me print See, this salary key is not there in the original dictionary so and uh, after adding this salary key using this index recent tax i am trying to print that let me let's see what will happen now let's clear this console here and let me execute demo.python file if, now if you see the dictionary we got id name salary all not only this i can do the same thing using this update function also to the update function pass the dictionary key value pair which you want to add so i want to add salary and i want to add salary as 1000 maybe so let me save these changes and then let's finally print the dictionary so now let's execute this code see we got the same output so that means using this two pipe of syntaxes we are able to add items to the dictionary how to remove items to it from a dictionary there are multiple ways to remove one is use the pop function and pass the key name which you want to remove or use the pop item directly this is going to remove by default items in the order and uh, if you can use this uh, index syntax with the del keyword this is going to delete that particular item or you can use the clear function to clear the entire dictionary let me practically show you this so what i will be doing here i have id and name right now let's assume i want to remove that name so what i can do on top of my dictionary i can use this pop function and to the pop function uh, let me let me write the code here properly so to the pop function i can pass the key name which i want to remove so maybe i want to remove name let me save this and then finally print the dictionary now let's run this see we got only id why because pop deleted that instead of that as i said we can also use pop item 
so this pop item function will not take any key it is directly going to remove the item in the order so let me run this and practically show you that if you see we got only id why because from from the last right in this order from bottom to top it will remove the items from the dictionary okay and not only this we have used a uh, del keyword so using del keyword i can delete the items from the dictionary so maybe from this dictionary i want to delete this name key uh, so i am going to use this index syntax here okay and if you see the slide it is the same thing index syntax okay and then finally let's try to print the dictionary so let's clear here and let's run this demo.pn file see i got only id1 why because we deleted that item and not only this on top of my dictionary i can use the clear function also this clear function is going to clear all the items basically so let me run this code now see i got empty dictionary why because all the items are cleared okay so this is how using this multiple syntaxes we can clear or remove the items from the dictionary so that's it in this video thank you for watching this video there are a couple of other things we have to discuss about the dictionaries uh, that we will be discussing in the next video which is going to be dictionaries continuation video so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much